Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. This is episode 16 of our Stitch Gallery and Glossary. Today we are learning the Honeycomb Crochet Stitch and uh, you'll just need some basic supplies. I'm using a G size crochet hook. Uh, this fancy hook I got at the Etsy shop would be fancy. I'll put a link in the description where you can get the same hook, but I'm just going to demonstrate with a G hook in this tutorial today just to do this basic swatch. And then big thing Thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. This is creme de la creme 100% cotton yarn. So I'm just going to demonstrate with this yarn today. But you can use any yarn and any crochet hook to make this stitch. I'm just going to show a basic swatch. So let's get right into it. So for the honeycomb crochet stitch, it is in the multiples of five, and then you add two more chains at the end. So here I have a chain of 22. Now if you're concerned on how to make a slip knot and a foundation chain, you can watch episodes one through five of this stitch gallery and glossary and learn how to make a chain. Uh, but like I said, I chained 22 because 20 is in a multiple of five, and then you add two more chains at the end there for your counts. So I chained 22 here. So now we're going to go right into row number one. It says to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and all the way across. So the loop on the hook does not count as anything. So count one and two right in this chain here. We're going to go into that chain, but what I personally like to do, and this is just a personal preference, I like to turn my chain toward me and work in these back ridges right here. Okay, so I'm going to go into that second chain from the hook right in there. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, we're just going to set up this stitch. So we're going to actually single crochet in each chain across. And again, if you don't know how to do a single crochet, that is, I think that's actually episode number one of our Stitch Gallery and Glossary. So I'm just going to go through row one here, just single crocheting across, and then in the next row we'll start making the honeycomb design. Alright, just finishing row one here, I just single crocheted across, so this is what your work should look like so far. So now going on to row two, we are going to chain up one and then turn our work around, okay, just like this, and we are going to work in the first two stitches. Now it's kind of difficult to see, this very first stitch is where we chained up one in. We are going to work in that first stitch right there. So go right into there by single crocheting. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And also in the next stitch as well, we're going to single crochet in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay. Now we are going to chain five, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, and five, and we're going to skip two stitches down here, and we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So skip this stitch here, skip this stitch here, go into this next stitch right here, and single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next stitch, single crochet. Okay, and the next stitch, single crochet. Fabulous. Then we are going to, let's see here, repeat. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip two stitches, one and two, and then single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Okay, and just repeat that all the way across. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, skip two stitches, and single crochet in the next three. Then when you get to the end of your row, so depending on how long you made your piece, um, just continue repeating that until the end. And when you have four stitches left here, we are going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, skip those two stitches, and only single crochet in the last two stitches. 
one and one. Okay, and that is row two. So yours should look a little something like this. Okay, going right into row three, we're going to chain up one, so yarn over, pull through, turn the work around, okay. We are going to single crochet into the very first stitch. So where we chained up one, right in this very first stitch here, we are going to go in there, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. We're gonna skip this next stitch right here, and we're gonna put five single crochets in the chain five space. So go into the chain five space and make five single crochets in there. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, then we have these three stitches right here. We are going to skip the next stitch and then single crochet in the next. So single crochet in this middle single crochet of these three single crochets here. So skip this one and single crochet into this middle one. Okay, then skip the next one right here and put five single crochets in the next chain five space. One, two, three, four, and five, and just repeat that all the way across. So skip this next single crochet stitch right here, go into this next one right here, and single crochet. Then skip the next one right there, and put five single crochets in the next chain five space. And just do that all the way across, and then when you get to the very end one, the very last one here, I'll show you. So depending on how big yours is, just continue that repeat. And then when you put five single crochets in your last chain five space here, let me show you what to do to finish off row three. One, two, three, four, and five. We're actually gonna skip this next stitch and just put one single crochet in the very last stitch of this row. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, and that's row three. So you can start to see the very lacy, holy design so far. So now we can go on to row four. So to start out, we're going to chain six. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And what that counts as is the first four chains count as a treble crochet, and the next two chains counts as a chain two space. So we're gonna turn our work around, okay, just like this. And for row four, it says to skip these first two stitches. So the stitch that have, has the chain coming out of it right here, skip that stitch and skip the next stitch. And we are going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So this stitch, this stitch, and this stitch. So go into this one here and just single crochet in those three stitches. One, next one, two, and the next one, three. Okay, so we've made this chain space. It's gonna be similar to one of these chain spaces over here. So we're gonna have them kinda offset from each other. Okay, to make the next chain space, we are going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. We are going to skip three stitches and then single crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, three, skip those three, go into the next three stitches here and single crochet in those. So one, here's two and three. And just repeat that then across all the way here. Let me get some more yarn here so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip three stitches, one, two, and three, and then single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Then chain five, one, two, three, 
four, and five, and then skip three, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next three. And do that all the way across your piece. And then to finish this row, you're gonna single crochet into these three, but you have two stitches left. We are going to, let's see here, row four says two, to the last two stitches, chain two, one and two, and then treble crochet into the very last stitch. So skip this one stitch, yarn over twice, okay, one and two, go into the very last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. That's a treble crochet. We just wanted to get up to that height, so that's why we made a treble crochet in there instead of chained the whole five and went down in there, because we want to start at the top here to go across for the next row, which is row five. So let's go right into it. Let's chain one and turn the work around. Okay, this is row five now, so this is what your piece should actually look like. So you'll actually have a chain space on this side and a chain space on the side. So um, one extra chain space on this row. See how we have four spaces on the first section here? Then this next one will have five. So the next one after that is going to have four. Okay, so I'll show you how to do row five now. We are going to single crochet into this space here, this chain two space, we're going to put three single crochets in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, two, and three. Then we're going to skip the next stitch and put a single crochet into this next stitch here. So you can see here there's three single crochets, one, two, and three. We're going to skip this first one and just put a single crochet into this next one. And then we're just going to skip this next one here and then put five single crochets into the chain five space. Okay, it's very similar to round th row three. One, two, three, four, and five. And then just do that all the way across. So skip this next stitch here and single crochet into this next stitch. Then skip the next stitch here and put five single crochets into the chain five space. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, again, skip the next stitch here, single crochet in the next, just do that all the way across. And then when you get to the very end here, I can show you exactly what to do because I'm almost done with my swatch. But depending on how big you make yours, just do this all the way across. And then when you come up to your last space here, single crochet into this middle single crochet, just like that. And then in the very last chain space, we are going to put three single crochets in there. So only three, not five. So one, two, and three, just like that. Then we're going to chain one and turn our work around, going on to row six just like this, okay? So row six, we're gonna single crochet into the first two stitches. So this stitch right here, go in and single crochet. And the next stitch right here, single crochet, okay? That way, we're, row six is going to be similar to this uh, row two here, where we made the chain five space right here. So now this chain five space is gonna go above where this one is. So it's going to match up. So let's chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip three stitches, one, two, and three, and then single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five five, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then single crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, and three, okay? So do that across, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, 
skip three stitches one two three single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three then when you come to the end of row six we are going to chain five one two three four five skip three stitches you should have two stitches left so one two three skip those three you should have the two stitches left we're going to single crochet into the last two stitches one and two and that was row six it's looking good so far going on to row seven well now we are just going to repeat rows three four and five so if you need to rewind this look at what we did for rows three four and five okay and just repeat rows three four and five for however long you need to make this so I'm just going to do that again just go back to row three so we're gonna chain one turn the work around single crochet in the very first stitch and then skip the next stitch and put five single crochets in the chain five space one two three four and five then skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next then skip the next stitch and put five single crochets in the chain five space one two three four and five I won't make you watch me do this again so just repeat rows three four and five after you finish row six so go through and make rows one through six and then after you finish row six just repeat rows three four and five for however long you need to make this piece but there it is the beautiful lovely lacy honeycomb crochet stitch is there so thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this fun stitch you can learn more uh, of different stitches if you go check out yarnutopia.com there's many different free video guides on how to do easy to complex stitches uh, similar to like this one so go on and check it out there and while you're at yarnutopia.com check out my other patterns and also uh, consider supporting us so we can continue to bring you these quality crochet video tutorials big thank you to red heart yarns for providing the yarn for this project today and big thank you to my dad for standing back there videotaping me <laughs> and editing my video yep there he is <laughs> and then thank you to you for watching and learning how to make this stitch today i'll see you next time happy hooking <laughs>